printing is often one of the most attractive activities uh, for fan of 3D printing and DIY uh, production of design models. But, 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 um, if your 3D printer doesn't have a good quality, it will drive you crazy. Well, 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 Z bubble. Yeah, exactly. Mm. After uh, enduring the hours of uh, printing, I was getting uh, really hungry. <laughs> Lubrication, uh, warping, uh, guide flames uh, didn't seem uh, to affect the deflection of my latest screw 3D printer. Uh, so I decide to remove it altogether. Hello friends, I'm Amir and this is Gajarosia. Well, after a lot of searching and checking the movement system, I found out uh, that the build system has been wrong. I always uh, thought that uh, this mechanism uh, might not be accurate enough for the 3D printer because of uh, its uh, lazing and tolerance. After uh, searching and checking this system, I realized that if I apply this uh, conversion uh, ratio and performance correctly in the design of this system, everything will be solved and the uh, mm, good accuracy will appear in the model layers. And in addition, uh, the Z level uh, problem will be solved. So, uh, let's start the design. Before we go to uh, check the Z build system, uh, the gantry that I had used for Y axis of machine uh, caused the small uh, vibrations due to the inappropriate uh, design of the geometric shape. And mm, it's 3D printed parts, you know, uh, and this issue on the outer wall curves that are in, they were printed in the direction of Y axis and cast mm, a lot of shadows. So I decided to redesign this gantry and make it with uh, an aluminium bait. Well, uh, check out this solution guys. I set the design and uh, create criterion to use the Z alignment command to make the leveling more accurate. Uh, all that was uh, possible to use a step motor, you know. Decided that I have done the design in such a way that mm, the output step of the build system is the same as the step of T8 leader screw. Next, let's go to the new Y axis gantry that I designed. Let's go for milling plate as uh, 75 alloys. Well guys, uh, since our facilities are limited, we are using a manual milling. Um, we kept the plate uh, styling geometry simple to save time. You know? uh, however, this plate took about uh, 10 hours to machining. Well guys, um, 
This is our printer, which was designed and built two years ago, maybe. Uh, let's change it. Let's see what we have here. Necessary material. <laughs> SKR uh, 1.3 TFT 28. Some pulleys, salt bands, and several brackets already prepared. I put uh, current and voltage <laughs> in the caption. Uh, now let's mix them. Measure. First line, second line, and that's it. Go for deburring. In design, I used the um, 4020 uh, aluminum VSLAT profile, uh, which is uh, perfect for the movement of PON wheel. Lubricant the hole and end by treating. Those brackets are um, supposed to hook. The S stepper bracket, we adjust the size with the clipper, mark and a strap. Okay, as you can see, this is the old gap tree that I designed and printed in PLA. The approximate dimensions of this gap tree are about uh, 33, 33 in 1.2 centimeter. I even placed a series of printed TPU spacer in uh, next to the springs in order to reduce the effect of vibration. Uh, it naturalized uh, the vibration of the glass well. Uh, also you can use silicon spacer for better performance. Well, uh, since the holes on this piece are made very clear precisely and <laughs> Sorry, yes. we have to use a small sandpaper with a 600 or 800 inch to make them bigger. A little bigger, you know. Now, let's go from installing the wheels to fitting the profile and rigging it. Well, uh, let's open the ports of the Z-axis and fix the new system. Okay friends, uh, the Y-axis system is completely finished and in the next part uh, we will complete and test the Z system, uh, Z build system. Uh, I hope it will be useful. If you have any question or opinions, please comment and if you enjoyed that, please subscribe and share it. Thank you. See you soon.